In our previous video, we drew a histogram and then we joined the tops of the histogram, the, the bars, to make a polygon. Now, what we're going to be looking at today in this video is what is called a frequency curve. We want to get an idea of what that really is. Let me write it down. Frequency curve. Nice. We're going to look at the frequency curve. Let me see if I can put it in this corner here. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Let's say we have a polygon. Let's say, just for argument's sake, this is our poly not a polygon, a uh, bar. Or uh, not a bar chart. Histogram, I should say. Histogram. Nice. Suppose we have one bar here. We have another bar here. One, two, three, four, five. Say so that is our histogram, all right? Then we want to make, or we want to form a frequency polygon. What we do is join here to here. Here to here, here to here, this to this. We close the polygon by going down to zero before and down to zero after. Of course, you'll have the bottom of it. So this polygon has how many sides? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. All right, it's called a heptagon. Although this looks straight, but it's a bit bent. This part here, going here to here, and then here to here. But this is our frequency polygon. Um, suppose, for argument's sake, we remove, we remove the bars. Let me touch this here. No. This is the bar that I want to remove. I remove here. Nice. Remove this one. I remove this one. No. It's nearly this that I want to remove. Mm -mm. I'm going to have to erase it later on. And I remove this. Let me do a little erasing. I erase as best as I can. I want to erase the blue line but not the green because I want the polygon to remain. I cut here. I cut this off. Good. I cut this off. Rub this out and rub this out and rub this out and here. Okay, good. So you see my polygon now. This is my frequency polygon. All right. Now let's go a step further. Let's just erase everything. That polygon had five sides. Let's draw another polygon with more than five sides. So I have one, two, three, four sides, five sides, Six sides, seven sides, eight sides, nine sides, 
that's 10 sides 11 sides 12 sides 13 14 15 sides okay so we study a lot more whether people are objects or whatever so we have more categories here remember this is a frequency going up and down is a frequency all right let us form our frequency polygon now I join 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 I'm joining these the middle of the tops of the bar that's where you form your frequency polygon all right let's close the polygon by going down to zero on the left down to zero on the right we have the base of the polygon okay now I won't even try to be erasing so many lines but the green is a frequency polygon it looks smoother it does look smoother than the other one how many sides does it have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen it looks like about eighteen sides it's a lot more sides than the previous one and it does look smoother closer to a curve now imagine that I have a histogram with a hundred bars they would have to be thin and all a hundred of them and I join the middle of the tops it would have so many sides just just by looking you probably think it is a curve all right so let me erase all of this and then that histogram would probably look like a curve could look maybe something like this it's so smooth there's so many sides it looks like a curve let me um, make a base I don't want any part of it open so you would say it is a curve so this is what you call a frequency curve right this is what you call the frequency curve all right we'll end this discussion here and in the next video we'll look at um the, the different types of frequency curves so we'll do that so i will see you in the next video